Welcome to zero to pro training.com. In this video, we will talk about why hard drives fail. Mechanical failures. Let's talk about mechanical failures first. A hard drive is a mechanical device. It has several moving parts. Magnetic platters store the itself. Motorized spindle spins the platters. Read, right arm moves across the platters in order to retrieve information or write new data to the platter. The read, right heads hover at a very tiny distance above the platters. The gap is so tiny that a piece of dust could block it easily. Actuator moves the arm itself. The hard drive will fail if any of the mechanical parts stop working. The parts move across with great precision. This makes hard drives fragile. Any of the parts could failure. For example, circuit boards, spindle motors, and ball bearings. Head crash is the worst type of failure. The read right head drops down and touch the platter. This scrapes away the magnetic material. The read right head drops down and touch the platter. The data is permanently lost. In most cases, all the data is lost. The data residing on unaffected parts could be recovered. However, usually the data is spread around the platters. That is why any recovery is difficult. As long as the platters are not damaged, the data are still there and is recoverable. Non mechanical failures. The failures could be non mechanical as well. A computer uses a special index and a file structure to read files stored on a disk. If the index gets corrupted, the files would not be accessible to the computer, even though files would still be there. Index could be repaired using special software. It is a tricky job and requires expertise. Interface failures. Sometimes hard disk does not fail, but it seems that it has failed. That is due to a fault in the interface. In other words, the hard drive's connection to the computer could fail. The connection is called interface hard drive connects to the motherboard via interface. IDE, PARTU and SATA are commonly used interfaces. The connection itself called interface could fail or the circuit on the motherboard called disk controller could fail. The symptoms mimic a hard drive failure. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.